Education is the key to open the golden door of freedom. And an educated man is the one who has learned how to learn and change. Join me, Usla Akinyi, in this exciting episode of African Slam Journal as I take you through the importance of education in the slums. Welcome. About 64% of girls in urban schools drop out of school due to social injustices such as rape, sexual abuse, harassment and even pregnancies. Imagine I was Rosemary Aloch Kadondi. My mom was 13 years old. I was 36. I decided to go to the street with my sister and my sister. I was in the road outside. I was in the road and I was in the road and I was in the road. I was in the road. Kufanya hii tena kwa na hiyo life ni ngumu tena karudi kwa street. Juu na pata pale kwa street pale dam side. Tulikuwa tunapata vitu kutoka airport, naweza uza plastic, nipate pesa. Lakini tabia yangu ilikuwa mzuri vile juu nilikuwa nafuta gamu. Tulikuwa tunafanya ile un, unprotected sex. Nilipata mtu hii huko bahati mbaya na sikujua nimepata na nani. Che, chi, cho, chu. Before ni rudi shule, kuna good Samaritan ali kujau ko dam side. Kamu balai street children uko, akaletele game ya street for a side. Do badai pia mimi ni kama kini kwa yo street street ni ni football. Ntiari ni kwa ni reform. Sasa ndio ni kwa na ili afya kuka hivi bila kwenye shule si mzuri. Certificate squeeze na ikienda tunayenda certificate ndiye. Inaweza kukupeleka mahali hata no, no matter utakuwa na D lakini certificate 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 nika decide kwenda shule So what's beginning with the vowels we will use and this center actually started 2005 and we have been offering adult education both primary and secondary education secondary education in the slum area it's not well provided because of several challenges let's say 100% those who sit for primary education we usually only have 50% those who join secondary education. And in particular, these slum dwellers, most of them, there are people who live on less than a dollar a day. And it's really a challenge. Most of them don't afford this secondary education. So as I mean, I am a man who is 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 a man They are not economically empowered. So one actually is supposed to be in class, and at the same time, he has to go out you know, to see or to look how he will have to put food on the table. Those who, live, who drops out after uh, completing class eight, most of them just end up in early marriages, early pregnancies, you see. Kwangu, na juvunia kurudishule, tena na fraia. Although challenges na pitia, na chekelewa na my friend, wa mtani. Na wale yu tuliku wangu na damu saidi. Lakini hiyo inijalishi jubado pia mina nazidi kwa encourage. Mambia hiyo ndiyo njia. Being a mother has not deterred her from her own quest for education. But how does she manage to balance between family life and school life at the same time? Mimi program zangu nimepanga time table yangu. Asubuhi nendanga kuwasol. Paka kituma satano sa sita. Na kuja at least na rest kitu kama 1 hour ama 30 minutes na prepare lunch yangu na wale watoto wenye niko nao alafu in the afternoon naenda class ni kazi ngumu sana juu unapata hii school fee mimi nalipwa tu school fee lakini upande wa tumbo na have ku, kutafuta vile nda survive kwa wale watoto wako na wazazi ni ngoma tu wazazi hao watoto yani wajaribu kuelimisha watu wao wasipitie life ile mimi nilipitia Intelligence and good character are the goal of true education. And as it is said, you educate a man, you only educate a man. But you educate a woman, you educate a whole generation. Thank you for staying tuned to African Slam Journal. I have been your host, Usla Akini. And for more of these real life stories, please visit our website on www.africanslamjournal.com. Thank you.